Yanka Science lets you model a limitless range of electric circuits on screen. Choose electricity from the available topics. To add parts, click in a folder in the parts pane and then drag the part you want onto the screen. Parts can be rotated by dragging on the circle that appears above them. If you position the terminals of two parts so they overlap, you'll see a black square appear and a connection is made. You can use the copy and paste function to add multiples of the same component. To link two terminals with a wire, move your mouse to the free end of a terminal. Click the mouse when you see a black square appear. Move the mouse towards the terminal where you want the wire to end. When you see another black square appear, click again to end the wire. When the circuit is complete, you can operate controls such as switches by clicking on them. To change settings, first click on the component you want to edit. Click on the value you want to change and type a new value. If the value you type causes the simulated component ratings to be exceeded, they will be destroyed. You will see a warning sign. Click on this to find out why the part exploded. To fix the part, click on the spanner. You can make readings from your circuit by holding your mouse over a wire component. These readings will follow changing values in the circuit too. To start a new simulation, click File, then New in the Options toolbar. This time we'll set up a circuit to study a capacitor, charging and discharging. Instead of a battery, you can use voltage drills. Remember to add two of them though. To draw wires between components, first click on the free terminal of a component. Then move the mouse up and click again to bend the wire. Move the mouse left and click on the second terminal to finish the wire. The zoom buttons on the options toolbar let you zoom in and out from your simulation. The capacitor has plus and minus signs which illustrate the charge on its plates. Red bars also show how the voltage distributes around the circuit.